guys, Mel here from Love the City TV. I'm here with Mac J, the one and only. That's right, he has an up and coming release, which is number 30 on B Port. So tell me about your new release. Uh, my new release was released on Juicy Music uh, two weeks ago, and it hit number 30 on B Port, um, which is amazing. The support from my fans have been awesome. I have a lot of new stuff coming up. Um, this, this coming month, June, I have a release on Hysteria, which is Bingo Player's label. It's going to be an awesome track. gotten support from a lot of big guys right now. Um, but a lot of new stuff. A collab with Nicky Romero coming out. The collab with Hardwell everyone's been asking for. Um, a release on Protocol, which is Nicky's label. And just a lot of good stuff coming up. That's amazing. So you obviously have a lot of support from a lot of headliner DJs that the world knows about. And you're up and coming. You're pretty much up there with them. And how did you get there? Like, what inspired you to get to that place and to really, like, connect with people to really be known and in get, get, get into the club scene? Um, honestly, I started doing a lot of mashups and bootlegs, which for me, not having a musical background was really difficult to be, okay, I got to sit in front of a computer and try making a song. We have no, I don't know anything about making music. So taking other people's stuff and kind of making it my own because I've been DJing for now 10 years and I knew what works, it works in the club. So it was very easy for me to kind of incorporate doing mashups and bootlegs the way I would spin it in the club. So I would do that because I got lazy and I'm like, I just might as well just make one at home. And so I would make a bootleg and I would, you know, give it to the DJs. And then next thing you know, I'd have Hardwell hitting me up saying, hey, I played your stuff in my Hardwell on air. And I'm like, whoa, this is amazing. You send me your, your latest stuff. And he's kind of the one that's been my biggest supporter. He's helped me from zero to hero. The guys, he took me from my parents' bedroom to now, DJing the biggest festivals in the world and that's what support should be you know and that's what I'm doing right now for my fans because I just hit 25,000 on my Facebook which is amazing and for the 25,000 mark I'm doing a, um, a talent thing where basically I have a competition where all my fans send in their original productions and I judge them and then say who wants to collab with me and I look for the best one and the one that has the best I don't know the most inspiring one that I feel like it's because a lot of stuff sounds the same now but when of the best inspiring music to me I'll choose it and then collab with them and kind of help them how hard will help me so all right fans you guys heard that this guy loves you guys and he's playing his music for you and he wants to support you because he knows where you came from because he came from there too but so now you're producing your own music though so it's not necessarily about like Every top DJ is helping you out. You're actually up there and you're producing your own music and you're traveling the world. So where can people find you? Like, where are you up and coming? Um, like today I'm in Toronto, which is amazing. I was here a couple a couple months ago and the Huxton here is amazing. The crowd, every Saturday is just mind-blowing how insane the crowd gets. So, I mean, I'm all, I'm, I'm all around right now. I have a lot of dates coming up. Next week I'm doing a, a four-date gig in, uh, with Avicii. I'm going to be doing uh, Hong Kong, Macau, Singapore, and Malaysia, which is going to be rad. Um, that Sunday I'm actually going to be with bingo players at Governor's Island in New York doing a support act. So for me to really see how a producer is, and it's so hard to, to gain acknowledgement from the big guys nowadays because there's, there's so many people that are doing the same thing now, is to really get gain support from the bigger artists, which you have to do these dates with them. So trying to search for your biggest dude, say, my guy was Hardwell, and I got lucky doing that. So having Hardwell support me and bringing me on a tour with them, same with Avicii and Bingo players, that's what you have to do to get support. And so. so you were saying you never came from a musical background. So what inspired you to spin the music that you do play and that people are, because people listen to you and they're inspired, right? They're like, this guy is bomb and they come and they, they come for you because you play great music. So what is it about you that you think makes you want to play that kind of music? Honestly, I go to every set and I read the crowd and coming from a DJ background, is it's good for me because a lot of producers are producers that start producing they don't start DJing and I started DJing at a super young age so being able to read a crowd for a bunch of 50 year olds to a 16 year olds to you know crazy raver 21 year olds you know for me that's the best and I know a lot of DJs that can only go and play their music me I can go and play a hip-hop set I could go do an indie set like I know how to work a crowd and 
that's what I really feel like is the most important for DJs nowadays to really do the live performance thing and really kill it on that because if they're not, they're just going to be another DJ, you know, so. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let me know. I don't, what, you can, you, your choice. You can either tell me the best place you've ever spun in your life or the most epic place you want to spin in your life. Where in the world would that be? Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland is de up there with one of the places that I, I want to go and I really want to experience it from a fan perspective. I don't want to just go and be there for a day and have basically the whole artist experience. experience. I want to go there with some friends, camp out, do the whole basically the bum thing and just be a raver because I don't ever get to do that. I and if just I dance, and just music. and just dance. But uh, awesome. definitely the best gig I've had in a while was Avalon in Los Angeles. It's right by my house. I can walk there stumbling distance to my house. Like it's the place and it's basically like a rave every Friday night for Friday night control and it's it's amazing. They bring in like some of the best acts. I mean, last week they had uh, Bro Safari, Brills, like Toro Toro, yeah, which are really rad dudes. Um, so it's definitely controls my favorite place to play. If if I could play anywhere every single week, it'd be Control on Friday nights at, at Avalon in LA. All right, you guys. We hope that we can catch him there very soon. Hopefully, world. This guy is worldwide. Actually, he's spun in so many places. We love him. We're gonna show you some footage of him spinning upstairs because that's coming up next. So stay tuned. Do not miss it because he plays some dirty, dirty tracks. We love it. You guys, I know you will love it. Check out all his social media below. Follow him worldwide. Don't miss out. Follow him on Facebook, Twitter. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your social media? Social media is facebook.com slash macjofficial, M-A-K-J. Um, my Instagram is just instagram.com slash DJ, M-A-K-J. And Twitter is the same, at DJ MacJ. So you get all my free stuff from there. Get his free stuff. Follow him. He is the bomb. We love him. Love him. Check him out if you don't know him. Now you got to know him because he's awesome. Watch this video. We got him on the decks coming up next.